Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome to another PyQtify tutorial video. My name is Jay. In this tutorial, I want to talk about the key class event of the uh, QVG class. So first of all, let's uh, go to this uh, link. So this page, which is the documentation of the uh, Qt namespace uh, documentation page. And I'll link the, the link in the description below. So anyway, uh, before we talk about different uh, key press events, we want to take a look at different uh, key values that are available within the, the PyQt uh, framework. So if I do a search, uh, Qt and column, column and column, and followed by key. So you want to go to the enum Qt uh, key section. So within this section, you have different uh, constant values, and each value is uh, associated to a, a, a keystroke key value. So for example, uh, if you want to track if a user is pressing the escape key, and this is the constant value that you're going to use. And since this documentation was written for uh, C++, to convert the constant value to uh, Python syntax, you just need to replace the these two uh, columns with a comma. So uh, I did a calculation. I think that there are approximately 469 keystrokes uh, available. So any basically any key that you see on your keyboard can be uh, can be uh, tracked. So these are all the available uh, key values that you can track, and within the Qt class. Now went to different um, key constant values. Now we can talk about the key press event. So the key press event is basically every time when you process keystroke on your keyboard, uh, the key press event will uh, fire. So let me give you an example. So I think the best way to do is, so we can just go ahead and write some uh, Python script. So here I um, found my Python code snipper, and I'm going to uh, you, I'm going to from the Qt widgets uh, module, I'm going to import the Q application and the Q widget classes. And from the documentation, we, uh, we saw that we also need to import from the Qt uh, module. And we can import the Qt class and to reference all those uh, constant values. So these are uh, key constant values. So to find a key press event, um, basically a key press event is uh, of sync nodes is associated to the key widget class. So within my main window class, and this is basically my application framework. And if I uh, insert a new method, and so if you type key press events and that self, and for the signal, we're going to basically name the signal it um, either events or signals. Some people prefer use the parameter name signal, but I'm going to uh, use events. So that's just something that I'm more uh, used to. It. And I'm going to print something. Uh, key press events fired. And here within my uh, main module, I'm going to uh, construct my main window uh, object. So I'll name my object demo. And I'm going to uh, take the main window class. I'm going to create uh, a brand new uh, object and name the object demo. Now if I save the Python script and run it, and here I get my uh, my window uh, user form. Now if I press any keystroke, and as you can see that from my uh, console uh, page, and this uh, key press event is going to get fired, and which is going to print this message right here, key press event fired. And that's basically the, the uh, general concept of, of the key press event. So basically every time when you press something on your keyboard, uh, this method will uh, fire. Now, if you want to track uh, what key is pressed, so there are uh, several ways to do it. So, if we just basically uh, do a print event that key, and this um, key property or key attribute uh, is going to basically detect which keystroke that you press. So, if I press T, and that's going to print uh, the keystroke value 84. Now, if I press uh, space and space is associated to the uh, value of 32. Now that's not very useful right now. So if you want to uh, print the key values as a string, 
within the event uh, signal. So we can print the text. And now if we go back and to the uh, Windows form, now if I press any key, oops, okay. So the space is not, uh, so I guess the text uh, method is only going to be able to detect uh, any keystroke that uh, is associated to uh, a value. Actually, no, that's right. Because space key, because before I was pressing the space key, and the space key is space, so I forgot. And if I press uh, letter T, and that's going to print uh, T in the uh, console screen. Now if I press uh, capital T, and that's going to print the letter capital T, and if I press escape, and that's going to just print the, the escape um, byte value, so and so on. And one, two, three, four, five. So in case if you want to track uh, what uh, keystroke in terms of uh, string type, then you can use the events.txt method uh, to get the, uh, the keystroke value. Now the next thing I want to show you is, so in case if you want to, uh, to file a function or a method based on uh, a specific keystroke that a user press. So let me comment this out. In general, uh, I don't use the, the text method. So I prefer to use the, the constant value, which is what I showed you in uh, the documentation. And here, if I need to uh, find a specific uh, method based on a keystroke value, so usually what I will do is I will take the event signal dot key, and here I'll I'll do a uh, ego comparison, and I'll basically takes the the QT uh, class, and within the QT class, uh, this uh, class basically uh, store all the uh, constant values and enumerations uh, within this uh, within this class. Now, if I want to track if a user uh, press the space key, so I'll basically use the key space uh, names uh, constant value and followed by the function that I want to execute. And right now, I don't have a function yet. So let me go ahead and create a function. So I'm going to call this function test method. I'm just going to say print a space key press. So here I'm saying that if a user press the space key, you want to call the test method function, sorry. And that's it. Now if I run the, the Python script, now if I just press any key on my keyboard except the space key, and so you can see that uh, nothing, is gets, nothing gets printed right now. But if I press the space key, oops, uh, oh, so here I made a typo, test method. Now, if I press the space key, and this uh, this test method is going to get executed, and therefore print the uh, the message space key press. Alright, guys. So this is everything I'm going to cover in this video. Just a very simple uh, tutorial showing you how the key press event works. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.